you are not able to fight with the nature when the nature wants to take you. If all of a sudden the wave or the current just drip me away and the boat doesn't see me, I just get lost. Or maybe when you're down there on the water, you lose conscience, it's below your neutral buoyancy depth, then you fall, you're free fall. Yeah, I had some friend, they, they get accidents like this. The nature, the ocean, it is just so powerful. Nobody get attacked by animal that they cannot dive anymore. Yeah, I had one time that I uh, had a like washing machine current and I just don't know how to react, just trapped there on the water. And that is the moment that I feel so sorry to my father. I might probably die at that 10 seconds when I like in the water <clears throat> cannot come up. Shit, sorry father, I, I just... Maybe I die for the thing that I love. <laughs> it's the only thing that I can uh, comfort myself. Imagine you go somewhere where you can see only 15 meters around you and think about it as if there would be no water. It's going down, it's going deeper and if there would be no water we would look into a valley but you wouldn't see anything because it's only 15 uh, meter visibility. But then you still see a lot of things and you kind of wonder if you really could see everything and you wouldn't have the limitation of the, of the water around you. What the hell would you be able to see? That's why I think to go in the in the ocean is so rewarding. Let it change also for tomorrow? Yeah, we have to see day after day. I was born in Nice and I grew up in Nice between uh, the sea and the mountain and this place is very challenging. There is a lot of marine wildlife but to spot them, to interact with them is very very difficult, is very challenging and I'm working now since 10 years on documenting the, the marine life in the Mediterranean Sea. The, the, the great moments come from the whole logistical disaster that we created by ourselves and then making it work. There is an anchovy protected under the boat and the bonito and the tuna, they, they hand them and the, the puffin, the bird, they join the party, so it's crazy. Huh? Almost the whole day, we are just uh, sailing on the sea, not much happening, but I don't mind because the water is really amazing. Yeah, the main activity is just looking at the sea.
just、um, 11 o'clock, about 100 meters away, and it stayed there and didn't go down. We're going to dive at it. We're getting ready. Capitaine, il faut vraiment que tu nous gardes à l'œil tout le temps. Et、euh, tu, si on s'éloigne du bateau, tu essaies de, de garder qu'on soit pas plus une vingtaine de mètres, une trentaine de mètres, mais pas plus, tu vois, qu'on qu soit prêt parce qu'il y a du courant. Et quand je te demande, quand je lève la main ou quoi, c'est pour que tu viennes nous récupérer. Seven total, I saw seven. Like four here, two over there, and one over there. And I saw there's one coming nearby. Is there in front of the boat? We put a line. We put a line. Okay, we are on. No. Okay. So grab the line too. The problem is the dolphin is disturbing the the pilot, so they are moving and spread up.、Um, so let's see what happens. This is Greg's home ground. He doesn't want to make a wrong decision, and now it's not clear what to do because you can stay here. The encounter is not perfect, but if we、uh, go to look somewhere else. And we don't find anything, then we lose the day. Accélère un petit peu. Accélère un petit peu. Ok, parfait. Continue. Continue. Bon, bon, bon. First jump. I forgot the camera. I didn't forget it, but I, I realized I can't take it.、Anymore. You know, I can't. I need to be there. Yeah, that's why I told you. To, yeah. The challenge is always okay. There are certain conditions, and then how do you work with these conditions to squeeze the most out of it? Okay, bit off and off. Yes, only. Bit off and off. It's becoming a problem with the camera. What? Because it's fogging. If we don't go, it's fogging. Okay. Because it's running now, and then it's, in, it's not in the water. Yeah, let's go. Okay.、Huh? We get in, they avoid, so they swim away. You keep up, you know, you invest energy and you try to swim parallel to them to、uh, show them that you're actually not chasing them, but you just happen to be there. You know, you're just also some, some sort of whale. Then all of a sudden they、um, they change their behavior. I saw that、uh, one guy turned around. For the image, it's important to get the face, the eyes of the animal, in order to let people understand they are not actually escaping.
the eyes of the whale when they look at you. It's a moment you will never forget. Maybe there is not really any kind of interaction or connection with wildlife. But you always try to find that way to achieve something in the relationship between you and nature. You're not going to find it in the videos, but I, I'm really happy about this little success. Wow! I have some nice shots. Yeah, but we don't tell him. We show him later. Florian told me yesterday when he was shooting, he was expecting at one time I have a pirate whale coming close to me and take a photo, but this time I just want to enjoy it, you know, take off my camera so I didn't take photo. If you look at it from the outside, you might think there's just a few guys jumping in the water and trying to film something and everything happens by chance. But it's actually a process. A process to improve the whole procedure, to get a good shot in the end. And I think it's the same warm feeling that you have when you succeed in something that you just made out in your brain. Like it doesn't matter where it is or what it is, it doesn't have to be in the water. But in a special place like this, um, I think the feeling is even more rewarding. I think everybody has their um, the part of touching them. Interaction with the ocean animal is part of it, but it's all connected, right? <laughs> I think the part touching me is your body with the water. That part is um, something that I think maybe I already <laughs> groaning bone. <laughs> mm -hmm.